Yo, yo, guys. Damn it, man. We got another one of those days in the trenches. Calling through the barbed wire, looking out for machine gun nests, mortars, artillery. Uh, you know? On top of that, we got enemy aircraft, you know? We got drones. Got all kinds of shit out here, guys. But guess what? If you're not a bitch, you keep crawling through the mud. Achieve your objective, which is life-changing fucking gains, you know? Accumulation, no breathing. Don't give a fuck if we keep on bleeding. You know what I mean? This is accumulation time, you know? What? Wake the fuck up, man. Some stuff I need to talk about. Um, make me even more bullish, both on Artblock LCX. And yeah, I want to talk about Alchemy Pay a little bit, um, just briefly. I know a lot of people on my channel probably don't hold that one. I, I'm definitely pretty bullish on it. Anyways, let me go ahead and start off with talking about the old Art Block. Okay, this is something I saw today, guys. Coinbase just bought 3% of the total Art Block circulating supply. Putting their total holdings of Art Block at 5,710,020 Art Block tokens. That's worth over 16. Is that million? Yes, yeah, 16 million. Coinbase is now the third largest holder of Art Block. Guys. You know, why are they buying up the Art Block supply? They know something we don't know? Let me see. Let's scroll down and just see what else we see about Art Block on here. I do this every day. Uh, I go to their website and all kinds of shit. They don't update their website much. Um, yeah, this is just cool. They just this is guy just showcasing Artblock's use case. Use case. This Artblock payment kit is incredible. I was able to get this keychain up onto my page with a buy now button in just a couple minutes. This is my first time using it. Here's your parent payment with no cuts taken by middlemen. Welcome to Web three. Hey, 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 boy, bullish. All right, this is the thing I was talking about. This is what makes me questionable of why Coinbase is gobbling up all these Arc Block tokens. Um, because people are gonna be, they're 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 probably running out of Arc Block on the exchange. Honestly, that's probably why they're stocking up for the next leg up, guys. Um. Countdown begins in the release of Blocklets to the Art Block store. This will bring Art Block DAP to the forefront in the UK so that any builder can use and build upon. This stage, rumored next week, will cause eruption. <laughs> eruption of growth, growing participants in the ecosystem. Okay, um, this was June 17th, and they said that was next week, so that's fucking the end of the month. Okay, guys. These are the times you need to be building Art Block bags. Boy, buddy, boy, I, I just FOMO'd into Art Block when it hit 260 today. You know what I mean? 260, I came in, did what I had to do, guys, you know? Pretty soon, I'll be singing Art Blocks just bought me a brand new house and a brand new truck. But yeah, um, moving along, moving along here. Yeah. Talk about LCX. Yeah, because I did grab some LCX today. Okay, I've been seeing a lot of bullish things on LCX. People are just everywhere bullish. Anyone else getting the feeling that LCX is holding off on major announcements until MICO regulations begin taking effect at the end of month, early July? Uh, I forgot about that. It actually, they do start taking effect and uh, from scrolling on down here. Uh, let me just read what this guy says first. Imagine fading Binance coin at $2. I came because I bought and then sold at 17 a painful cope. Now imagine having a second chance with LCX. Will it go to 606 months? No. Will it, <clears throat> will it to double digits and set the foundation for an epic run in the future? Absolutely. Okay. People who are not investing in LCX don't understand the game plan. Exchange is literally closing in Europe and LCX hiring 24 new people. Finance and OKC, OKX forced to delist UT, UD, USDT and LCX just got regulatory clarity to list it. It's all coming. MICA 2025. Uh, yeah. 
L6 is going to fucking launch into orbit July 1st. We will be the only game in Europe for the number one stablecoin USDT after MICA goes into effect. You have 12 days to collect as much coins as possible. This is your final warning before the upwards rugging. Uphold to the list USDT and five stablecoins by July 1st, citing MICA regulations. Apart from Uphold, other major crypto exchanges, including Binance, Kraken, OKX, also tweaked their stablecoin listing policies to comply with MICA regulations. Guys, this is extremely fucking bullish. And I told you guys, I've been saying this about LCX for a while. I've been talking about LCX and Arc Block on my channel. Guys, LCX is the only motherfuckers out here coming to regulatory compliance. Like, you know, nine. Not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight. Fucking nine. All right? All these people fudding them. They have so many fucking partnerships with so many fucking good, good projects and stuff, guys. And they're the only exchange token listed on fucking Coinbase, who they're also partnered with on their website. Hello? What the fuck? Bing, bing, bing. Wake the fuck up! You know? Stop buying these bullshit projects like fucking Dogecoin, you know? Whatever, dude. If you want to buy meme coins, that's you. But I'm a long-term investor, and I look at things that I actually see bringing value. You know? I've talked about this before. When you buy things that want to bring value to you. You don't just go and waste fucking money on dumb shit and just watch it go to zero. You're just wasting money. That brings zero fucking value. You want to spend money, you know, if you're hungry, you go spend money on fucking food. Brought you some value. You know? Just simple things, guys. You don't want to put money in shit that does not bring you value. Um, if it brings value, it's going to increase the, the price. Anyways, moving along. Let me just talk about Alchemy Pay real quick because, uh, this dude saw it, made a post and I thought about it because I have my price prediction for Alchemy Pay is probably around a dollar, but um, I think it could well surpass a dollar, maybe two or three. Who knows? Crazy similarity from ACH to Matic. 2025 all season can bring it to $1.7 for Alchemy Pay. Way, way above my target for 38 cents. But if 1.7 will be the top, fuck man. 2,000 now will give you $100,000 at least. Hey. This shit is not a quick get rich quick scheme, guys. To get through this, to get to the objective, days like today and like this past week or two, you have to make it through these things. It's not easy. If you have a conviction, you keep building your portfolio and shit gets poo pooed on, you know? Buddy, you're gonna be sitting at the end of that shit like. You're gonna be pretty fucking happy with yourself. But you could panic sell, you know, and then you watch everyone else get life-changing money and you're just sitting there like, win Lambo, bro. Win Lambo, you know? Don't work like that, buddy boy. see moving along let me just pull up alchemy pays website real quick bridging the fiat and crypto global economies crucial payment support for web3 is here enable your users to buy and sell digital assets with fiat currencies on your platform empower your project for global adoption let me just scroll down here peerless global coverage alchemy pay supports fiat crypto purchases from 173 countries 173 countries bullish Using methods such as Visa, MasterCard, regional mobile wallets, and domestic transfers, comprehensive coverage in Europe, Northern and Latin America, and Southeast Asia with a focus on uh, access to emerging markets. Okay. 170 plus supported countries, 50 plus fiat currencies, 300 plus fiat payment channels, all, all cryptocurrency supported. Look at their fucking projects, guys. Hold on. Look at these. Look at these. What is not to be bullish on about Alchemy Pay? You know? They're literally like, dude, look at this. Visa, MasterCard, Discover, Diners Club International, Apple Pay, Google Pay. Dude, dude, what the fuck? They got some new shit on here too. Damn it, boy. Look at this. Look at all, look, what the, f bro, bro. That's insane, you know? They're going to have 
Better like partner with fucking everybody, bro. I definitely see them in a fucking dollar, you know? But um let me talk about Bitcoin real quick. I'm gonna just gonna read part of this article because it's something I kinda agree with. And this is on decrypt.com. Okay, let me just get this thing out the way first of all. Alright. The primary reason behind the lack of confidence from institutions appears to be the Federal Reserve's increasingly hawkish stance. At the start of the year, the dot plot indicated three rate cuts, but most recently FOMC meetings showed that the committee now expects to make only one rate cut. Guys, this is another big reason going on. First of all, you've got minor capitulation, and then you got people that are getting flooded out of the market because they thought we were going to get uh, some upwards of seven uh, rate cuts this year. And now they're barely even talking about fucking one. Okay. Things change in the market, guys. It's part of, you know, you just, it is what it is. Just look at it as a blessing to be able to buy the, these cheap prices. Take fucking advantage of it. Don't be a little bitch and cry. Adapt. Adapt. Learn. Fucking grow. Guys, stop this nagging shit. We're talking about all. Oh, if you were bullish at 70k, why the fuck aren't you bullish now? Why aren't you happy to buy shit for cheap? Especially the fucking altcoin capitulations we've been dealing with. When Bitcoin shows weakness and it's ranging like this, and there's some uncertainty, these altcoins are going to bleed out, guys. It's like they're wounded right now. They're just like trailing behind Bitcoin. Like, you know, they're still in the trenches. They're just wounded. They're, they need medical attention, you know? That medical attention is going to be... <laughs> maybe Thursday with the Australian ETF and initial jobless claims coming in probably higher than expected. We could see a relief rally, but guys, who knows? You know, we could keep moving sideways, but this might not last that much longer. This is why these, you know, especially on these altcoins, good time to be stacking your bags. I ain't gonna lie. Anyways, I'm rambling. Then on Sunday, Minneapolis Federal Reserve President Neil Karshkari said that the Fed might not cut rates until December, which further dampened the mood of the market. Up until then, investors seemed optimistic that the Fed would cut rates in September, according to CME FedWatch tool. That's, that's something I pull up on my channel quite a bit, guys. And honestly, it's still around 10%, um, the probability for them to cut rates. It's mostly... Uh, it's like 80 some percent no change and like a zero percent chance of hike or damn did they go up damn there is a chance of a hike on here actually but I need to pull this thing up real quick because that's got me they ain't gonna raise rates man they're not gonna raise no rates let me see what it say here Come on. All right, here we go. Yeah, 0% chance hike. 91% chance no change. 8.3% ease. So, guys, probably not in July. You know, it's not looking like unless we get some really good CPI news, stuff like that, um, PPI, CPI stuff, and more shitty jobless claims and unemployment. Might maybe, you know. But... Honestly, I think Bitcoin's going to do what it wants, when it wants, where the fuck it wants. I don't think it's going to depend on interest rates, but it is, you know, definitely going to help the price when they do. Uh, this is just an article I just want to talk about real quick. Guys, you need to be aware that um, crypto scammers are targeting Trump's MAGA supporters. They're, these people are making these fake Trump meme coins, and they are saying they're Trump, raising money for Trump's campaign, and people are buying them. Uh, I think one of them went up to like $300 million and got rugged. So guys, just be aware. I, you know, I support Donald Trump and I love what he does. I don't really like where we're at with this country right now, especially our economy and our the monetary policy and the taxes and all these bullshit proposals that Biden is coming. I'm just so against it, guys. Uh, I don't like where we are, you know. I want to see America become a powerhouse again. I want us to be number one in crypto. And I want to be a fucking millionaire and not have to give Biden half of my gains, you know? And, yeah, with that being said, I'm about to roll on all for you guys. You know? 
But guys, keep your head up, man. I appreciate these dips. I'm serious. You're going to be really appreciating these dips. Because coins like LCX and Arc Block, especially Arc Block, if these, that's one that gets gobbled up. I mean, hell, it's already fucking above $3, I'm pretty sure. You know? I wouldn't be stressing out about this stuff too much, guys. All these L's you're taking on all coins can be gained back in a week. More or less, you know? Maybe even a fucking day. Some of them, you know? So I wouldn't be too worried about it. I would just stack your bags. I would still be averaging into Bitcoin. Don't forget about Bitcoin now. Uh, that's like the safest part of your portfolio. That's the long term. That's the end game is Bitcoin, guys. You don't want to get married to these altcoins. Some of them are good to hold long term. But you still want to pull profit. And you still want to stack your BTC bag. Do not forget that. You know? All day long I sit here. Crushing my coin base. Watching money go to waste. About to catch me a case. All day long I sit here. Swapping I'll go to our block. Spending the last of my fucking money. Gotta buy me a new Glock. <laughs> that was cheesy as fuck. But yeah. I do want to get a new Glock. Maybe two or three. Maybe a Smith & Wesson. Maybe a fucking... A couple others too. I've been playing a lot of Red Dead Redemption, guys. I might want to get me one of those Italian-made Colt 45 replicas. See if I can be a fucking quick John McGraw. Have an ass. Go out there. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I can't shoot that quick with a revolver. <laughs> Alright, guys. Time to get the fuck off here. If you get any value from me, please like and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, guys, be accumulating these dips. Get prepared for the fucking pump. Because it is coming. Don't sleep on it. Respect the fucking dump. And like I said before, you can't respect the pump unless you respect the dump. You respect the dump. What I what I mean by that is, when the dump comes, you like you take advantage of it, and you don't you keep cool headed, you know. And when the pump comes, you 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 respect it. You're like, yeah, that's why I bought the dip. Now you respect the pump even fucking more, you know. Accumulation, no breathing. Don't give a fuck if I cut my bleeding. <laughs> All right, y'all, hold down the fort, man. If you get any value, please like and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, good night.